Now, the reality is that adapting mission trips into the virtual setting can be tough. Um, in some cases, we're replacing traditional mission trips. So I've had people contact me to say, our mission trip to X and Y location, Los Angeles has been canceled. Can we do something else? But I also have groups that are asking about different sorts of settings um, that want engagement like this. So whether that's reformatting the UCC's national youth event, which we did this summer to offer meaningful mission engagement, whether that is working with after school groups in partnership to provide meaningful social change uh, curriculum, whether that is partnering with colleges and universities, which we're doing right now um, to provide meaningful, uh, many colleges do like alternative break programs, which you can think of as a mission trip without God. Um, so how are we incorporating all the same elements and values, um, perhaps in a secular context, uh, to the work of radical accompaniment and service and systemic change. Um, we can also do work to support our nonprofit partners. A lot of our groups rely on volunteers and with Incredible Days, we can partner with those kinds of organizations to offer them opportunities to continue to engage their volunteers, their, their church partners, um, continue to bring in revenue, uh, which oftentimes our church partners are supporting and a lot of our churches are cash strapped at the moment. Um, so it's opportunities for this kind of partnership that I think are really meaningful about the virtual mission trip. So it's not just our local youth settings. 